Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Casual Pro Gamer. And today we are doing an Akali game. Uh, if I can find her, there she is. So on the blue team, which makes me uh, have less of a confusion about who is who. Because, well, on the other replay system, the blue team is always the good guys. Whereas the purple team mainly is the bad guys. So... Placing down a trap there with the Nidalee, I'm pretty sure she can spot them here. Yeah. No. That's not a purple ping. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure they uh, they spot her there with that trap because the traps give a, give a little bit of vision. And yeah, if only they were over here. So anyway, this is another ranked game. And this is uh, Akali... Who uh, who is going to play mid lane? I think. Yeah, it seems to be. Didn't say, so we'll just have to see where she goes. So no Darius this game, even though this was played after the Darius patch, uh, because well, for the simple reason that Darius was banned. Obviously, you're going to ban all Darius. And uh, or Dar you're ge going to ban Darius all the time in ranked games now because he is just crazy on a stick. Yeah, there's no real way to deal with him yet, and I'm sure someone will come up, come up with something, some champion that will be uh, useful against him and that can shut him down. Uh, Timo sh or should be doing uh, okay, I guess, and. I'm not sure how that would work, but Timo um, should do okay with the blind and uh, well the poison. He should be able to at least uh, well damage him enough to make sure that he can't farm. And Akali here starting off with the Q, the range skill, the mark of the assassin. It uh, helps you do it uh, on last hit. It helps you last hit the ranged creeps. Uh, oh no, the, the creeps at a range, I should say, not the range creeps per se. And yeah, especially against harass, it's pretty good. So if you're getting harassed a lot, it is of course good for that. So yeah, missing the last hit here with the Q, but she has another chance at that. Oh, no, not managing to do it. So also it adds some more damage, so if you really want to do some early damage to your opponent it is a great skill to have and probably going yeah going uh, the twilight shroud second and the twilight shroud really helps you out because yeah obviously you go invisible and it's a slow so it's an excellent defensive weapon and it is also one of the few skills in league of legends that actually don't do damage or well anything like that so nothing to do with damage and we see way too little of those uh, obviously not all skills add damage per se but most skills add just add damage and some skills add like extra armor penetration or um, yeah magic penetration obviously same deal um, extra attack speed things like that so even if they don't have flat damage then they will have the yeah something like that on them so jungler coming in and yeah he couldn't get anything done out of this so that is uh, unfortunate because it was a good opportunity purple team ahead by about 300 gold 400 gold now uh, yeah this means they are last hitting a little bit better and um, yeah there's not a whole lot else to say about that because there have been no kills and yeah I don't know who's uh, dropping the ball here well, I did so see that Rumble had to go home so he might be uh, out to rest a little bit oh taking a little bit too much rest there for uh, from the Twisted Fate Twisted Fate of course really good at uh, yeah just clipping someone with the cards um, let's see, bottom lane, 31 versus uh, 29, so that's not the one. Then Rumble, 8. Yeah, that's the one. 8 versus 23. 
So Rumble is the one losing them the golds. Akali 24 versus 23, that's the same. Uh, 24 versus... Uh, who is the jungler on the enemy team? I don't even know. I'm going for... Oh, no, hang on. Renekton is that. Um, so to against 29, the... Yeah, I wanted to see the first blood now. I think it was in bottom lane. Yep, there we go. Getting the stun off. And getting the exhaust off. And... Wow, is it good enough? No, the flash actually getting the kill there. And Ezreal, not enough balls to actually pick up the kill back. Which is kind of a shame, because he should have been able to do that. So flash and uh, heal used. And we actually have the uh, the uh, pictures here. I just realized that. We have the pictures of the champions actually available. So that's great. So yeah, I would like to um, to have some more champions or some more different champions because I keep getting the same champions from everyone. Uh, because well, those are the champions that everyone plays, and uh, there are a lot of champions that I haven't done in a while, and th those are the champions that no one plays. Obviously, I'm not going to ask you to play Evelyn at all because Evelyn just sucks balls, and we will just have to wait until she get buffed. And oh, I was just too late. I did see it, but I was just too late. So we're going to see him going down, yeah, jumping immediately on the Rumble. Rumble is super underfarmed. So yeah, she becomes level 6 and immediately jumps on him. 37 versus 23. He actually caught up for the most part, but I guess he needed some levels to make that happen. And so yeah, it's... Uh, uh, there's now a one one situation going on here and um, yeah actually 600 gold difference so yeah that's about like two kills and wow there was a lot of damage going off on that <laughs> twisted fate right away and that is what happens if Akali gets to farm and how is she doing 42 versus uh, 39 so not really able to uh, keep the twisted fate from farming yet she will be able to do that at later levels but obviously for now just staying safe just making sure that she can get the farm because that is hard enough at low levels and yeah you you can make the choice here to push the lane obviously not the, ch the uh, choice here but you can you can choose to just go and push the lane into the tower, making sure that uh, Twisted Fate cannot get all the minions, or you can do it like this and just keep the lane in place. But yeah, normally you do this, this so keeping the lane in place when the lane is pushed in your direction, because this can now still happen. So the stun going off, but an excellent escape there, and she is going to be able to kill this guy, I think. She is level se uh, level seven, so yeah, jungler coming in, and are they actually going to be able to pick this kill? Yes, they are. Nicely done. Oh, and a horrible ultimate from uh, this new lord. What's his name? Rumble. Yeah, Rumble placing an a horrible ultimate, not only not hitting people, but throwing it in completely the wrong direction. Because, yeah, I'll, I'll show you here. Hang on, I'll... Uh, we'll go onto... Yeah, the, the kill will, will come in a second, and then Rumble comes in. So, these guys are both going for this guy. So, he throws his ultimate over here, instead of over here, where it would actually slow both of them. I mean, this way, or if he thrown it over here, yeah, this dude wouldn't be at this position and yeah well he might have still clipped the jacks because yeah that was ju that's just a very r ranged skill there's not a lot you can do about that because he can't see the, s the cards coming when they move through the bushes but 
not only does he not hit the uh, the champions, also the the, uh, the slow doesn't go off. So yeah, he is in some trouble now. Although his enemies are both have to tower dive, but Nidalee no problems there. Oh, wow, she actually goes down to that. I would not have expected that. Yeah, so he's going to just run back into turret range. Twisted Fate has nothing on him there. And Akali is going to... No, come on. Pick up that kill, man. Okay, she didn't know where he went, apparently. Yeah, they, they can't see this, but... I think she... Could have been able to see that, but... Yeah, well. Anyway. Could have definitely picked up the kill, but I don't think she could see where he went. And thought that he ran over here or well in this bush and then it is much much harder to find him in time well played on rumble's part this time <laughs> yeah he made some mistakes uh, well he uh, he was under farmed early game and uh, I definitely thought that Nidalee would be able to pick up that kill because it seems that Nidalee well, would have been able to, but apparently Nidalee going for the level 5 boots with Riggle's Lantern, so that's very, well, let's call it interesting. And are we going to steal the blue buff here? Come on, stun going off, and ooh, nicely done. <laughs> Ultimate from Ezreal coming in, trying to assist in that kill. But no, uh, no help necessary there. So they're going to grab this blue buff, and both of them <laughs> have double buff. That is pretty funny. So going to start this dragon should be a really easy dragon because there's no one around to contest that at all. So they should be finished before anyone can come in. And they have a ward out over here. So this spots to about here, so you can see people coming in. And obviously with this lane pushed up, you can see people coming from this lane. So the only, oh, and with the mid lane here, the only risk would be this path. And yeah, they are ready to take that chance. Because with two guys with double buff who are well fed, I mean two kills here. And Jax has one kill and a nice number of minions. So they uh, they should be able to do pretty well. Even if someone came in. I mean, if the whole enemy team came in, yeah, that would have been different. But oh. Up top. So Rumble, he is still, yeah, kind of behind on me. He's not kind of. He is at half the me as that Nidalee is at. And this time, a decent ultimate. But, yeah, stays in a little bit too far. If he ran out, he might have... Then I have uh, might have had a chance, but only if his shield was up, and it probably wasn't up because he probably already used it. So once again, getting dove under the turret, and um, yeah, they're just going to kill this turret now, which is not very wise because Nidalee is doing very well in the lane, and she should just keep doing that. I mean, why would you want to kill the turret if you're doing okay in lane? I mean, Rumble, if he needs to come out here to farm and, he, yeah, allowing you to farm without... Uh, oh, this is going to be really difficult to chase and she's not going to be able to. That's a shame. Italy just a lot quicker with her pounds. Anyhow, yeah, Rumble is not able to farm as long as Nidalee is in lane. So there's no reason to take down that turret for Nidalee. Because once the turret is down, Rumble will just go do something else, like jungle a little bit, until his lane is pushed up to here. And then he can farm all he wants, because here Nidalee cannot touch him. Because the jungler can come in from the side, and they have a long, long way to go before they actually reach this turret. And now, see, without the turret, or with the turret still standing, she's going to grab another kill here. There you go. Come on, one pounce. Come on, you can do it. Oh, come on. 
kill him already. <laughs> oh, so fail! <laughs> okay, I hope everyone agrees that that was a kill. I mean, that should have been a kill. And it still is. Because Rumble gets sniped by Twisted Fate, and um, yeah, there's no, really nothing you could do about it at that point. Could have ran past the turret a little bit more and gone into the river, but still, that wouldn't have got, uh, saved him because, well, Twisted Fate can easily tower down or run past the turret. And, uh, yeah, so now they kill the turrets and probably are going to push all of these minions. So, yeah, the minion wave will now stop over here, and then Rumble can farm to his heart's content. Having no problems at all with that. And uh, yeah, mid lane is deserted. Kali over here. And uh, Twisted Fate, yeah, coming back from the top lane. Where he got that kill. And yeah, let me rewind that because I was watching other parts of the map. So finally they are going to push back. Yeah, because they're all behind the turret, it's really hard to do anything. But yeah, with the stun from Ash, it should be easy enough to get to grab a kill. They aren't even taking tower hits here. That is surprising. They must have been just out of tower range. No, don't stand in that bush. Yeah, this is the right position, because otherwise <laughs> you're going to get killed, man. Oh. Ash, really using your flash in a situation like that when you're already dead, yeah, that's really a waste of the flash. So Kali doing the only sensible thing upon seeing two champions run in there, and well, actually they saw all of them because they have a ward out. So if you see so many champions in there, you just run out, and that's exactly what she did, and that's exactly what she should have done. Staying alive. So yeah, not able to get that kill. Well, uh, the Renekton not able to get that kill for obvious reasons. And oh, that was a shame. Asriel Ultimate. Asriel Ultimate is killing her. Otherwise, she would have been fine. But a nice ultimate from Asriel preventing that she actually gets out. And Jax is in some trouble here. But Janna to the rescue! I like that I can see other lanes now. So Nidalee is going to push this lane a little bit. And it is another AD Nidalee, I think. Well, she hasn't built anything to suggest AP. And um, yeah, I really dislike the boots of mobility. I mean, why would you get those on Nidalee? Nidalee is already very quick. You don't need to enhance that any further. You can move from one lane to the other very, very quickly. And who are we going to snipe? We're going to snipe somewhere over here, apparently. Nope, nothing happening. <laughs> Enemy team failing, uh, even with two stuns, failing to kill anyone. Even the Ash. And Ash should be an easy target here. She only has some damage items, she has no protection at all. 41 magic resists. Not a whole lot. And Akali in the meantime. Pushing the mid lane. Going up against Renekton. And this time she is going to be able to kill him I'm assuming. Oh, Renekton running back into his uh, turret. And she is going to be able to, uh, to stay safe as well. Obviously you don't want to get ganked here. So you need to keep an eye on what the junglers, or not the jungler, because he is the jungler, the enemy team might be doing to uh, to get you. And yeah, I'm going to follow this round, and then we're going to see what's happening there. So, yeah, this was an obvious kill, so that's why I followed that. Um, I think that's one too many, but yeah. Jax coming in here, going to s not snipe the AFK here, even though he's not really AFK. But they're going for the Asriel, who is out of turret range, and he's going to grab a kill there very, very easily. And with his lifesteal, he, um, uh, yeah, he had a lot of lifesteal there, getting back a lot of life. 
And yeah, grabbing two kills and grabbing this entire minion wave, getting out at about 80% health. So, no problems. So that's the advantage of having so many CC spells. I mean, Ash Arrow, uh, yeah, well, Janna is just one big CC bomb. And of course, the stun from Jax himself, you can just grab whatever. So did they upgrade the the Dragon Gold? Because I saw 215 there, instead of 119. I don't know. Oh, she gets revealed, immediately runs out. That's really quick reactions there. That is a good job. So, yeah, she sees that she cannot engage there against Renekton. Nidalee, Jax is on his own. And, yeah, he is going to die. But that is just the way it is. It's nothing that Akali could have done there. Ash Arrow coming in, but not hitting anyone. So yeah, Akali, good decision there, and I hope these two gold numbers will disappear at some point. <laughs> it's one of the annoying things uh, about this new replay system. The gold numbers, they get stuck every now and then. So the last game I had a uh, plus 300 all the way across the screen. And yeah, that is just not the way I want it because I want to see the gold that they actually get and not have these numbers pop up all the time but yeah I think they're stuck there for the rest of the game and Rumble still trying to go aggressive on this Nidalee and yeah Nidalee just not caring just running out and are they going to what? What was he trying to do? I have no clue. That went nowhere, that ultimate. So yeah, the uh, Renekton coming in here. Trying, uh, going to try to uh, get an, well, assist this uh, top laner in getting the kill. But Jax is also there, he spotted the Renekton and well, the other way around, of course. But, oh, Renekton coming in too late and is going to get killed. Nidalee was already gone and there was no way that, well, this could go anywhere else than, uh, well, downhill. Oh, yes, they do get the kill. She wanted to jump over there but got stunned. Excellently played by Jax. And are we going to see a snipe here on the Twisted Fate? Now Twisted Fate flashing out of there, a stun on Jax. Jax will have to lifesteal, but no, he's not going to manage. And yeah, they trade a one for one, but it's an assisted kill for an unassisted kill. So it's all good. And yeah, Jax was on a killing spree, so that gave a little bit more gold to, uh, to Twisted Fate. But yeah, well... That killing spree would have ended at some point anyway. And they still came out ahead on in gold. It's 15 to 10 now, with Akali having... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Four kills, two assists, so uh, it was pretty decent. Uh, only Jax has a higher total, a higher number of kills where he was involved in. But yeah, he's the jungler. And Akali has been farming up all game. Let's see the items currently. So already has Hextech Revolver building in that into uh, the Hextech Gunblade. And once that happens, that should be good. So Jax just uh, shooting his Hextech Gunblade at Renekton. And that made him go slow enough for him to catch up with his Leap Strike. And all in all... Oh, taking a little bit of damage there, but the javelin's really not a problem at all. They don't do a lot of damage, and getting the Twisted Fate, but that's not going to result in anything. Oh, uh, Jax jumping into the entire enemy team. There's nothing the rest of the team could have done about that. And 
Wow, so much damage going off, just harassment. But yeah, the um, the blue team seems to have superior harassment, even though the poke on this team is way better. They have Nidalee, they have um, uh, Ezreal, and they have Twisted Fate. So they have three pokers, whereas these ha only have Ash and uh, yeah, the the last guy. I forgot who that was. Um, yeah, I guess uh, Rumble has a skill that uh, that can poke as well. Uh, oh, Jax? No, 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 that's not it. I I meant they had two, so they had um, Ash and Rumble. I guess Akali can do some damage as well, but definitely doesn't want to lose her mark of uh, the assassin uh, too quickly, because it adds a lot of damage. So you want to actually hit the guy that you throw it at. But yeah, well, if you can get the harassment off, of course you're going to take that. But it is definitely good to keep that around for uh, when the team fight starts. Yeah, it's a really low cooldown now because it's at level 5. It's a um, uh, 4 second cooldown. And are we going for dragon? Yeah, dragon is up. So the enemy team pinged Dragon as well. I don't know if they can see this, but I don't think so. No, they cannot. As you can see, yeah, they did see them coming in. And... Yeah, Dragon picked up by the, purple te uh, by the blue team. And finally getting a little bit of a... Well, ahead here. Uh, two and a half K. But... Yeah, about enough to make sure that they can start uh, working these team fights, but it's definitely not enough to fully engage in a, on the team uh, in lesser numbers. So four versus five, they're definitely going to lose that. But yeah, let's take a look at uh, how the gold is doing because that would actually be a good stat to keep track of. And we're kind of in a farm state anyway. We um, there's not a whole lot to do. Well, Ward going down, and enemy team might want to contest his blue buff, but not really. No, it's all good. Um, did he just pick up the red buff with that? No, the Necton got it. Um, yeah, let's see the gold. So, uh, Akali and Jax, the two main... Oh, no, 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 that's not true. Jax and Ash are the two main ones over here. Akali is a little bit behind on that, about 500 gold. It's not a huge deal, but it's definitely enough to... Uh, well, to set her back a little bit, item-wise. Um, Yeah, so both teams trying to find a good position to engage, but meanwhile just farming up the minions. Uh, Ash falling back here because she doesn't want to be engaged upon. And with so many stuns and such on the enemy team, they have three stuns. So this guy has a stun, this guy has a stun, and uh, the Renekton has a stun. <coughs> so a little bit of damage on the Akali here. Uh, so on the other team... It is mainly Nidalee and a little bit of Twisted Fate who are doing well. But as you can see the gold amounts are lower. And yeah, that means that the carries on one team are stronger than the carries on the other team. But the supports on the purple team are probably a little bit stronger. Well, no, a little bit more, more fed. And... Oh, a very nice pickup there. And Ash doing a good job of preparing that kill. Akali g getting away with that. And she is now... Hang on, we are 6 and 1. Jax is 9 and 4. That is excellent. Oh, did she really hit that with it? Hang on. So we're going to follow this one. Because Ash just hit her arrow. Spots the this dude and go to snipe him with the arrow that is excellent 
That is excellent, man. So, obviously, with an ace, you're going to go for the Baron, even though there is a ward over here. And yeah, they're going to pick this up with no problems at all. Uh, yeah, this guy will come in. Oh, what's he doing? He can see that it's gone. And he still engages? That is just stupid. Come on, get him. That's just a free kill. Thank you. You always say thank you in the alt chat, by the way, if someone does that. Because that is just free money. He can see that that is gone. And there's nothing he could do anyway. I mean... He's not going to steal the dragon, uh, the Baron, from a team that, <laughs> from a full team. He's just going to get killed. Now he could actually see that they had finished the Baron and that two of them were coming his way. And he still went in. So even at the higher ELOs, people do stupid things. Because higher ELO does not mean you're a better player. It most of the time just means you, um, you have more games played. Or you have a friend that is uh, that can actually play. That's what happens most of the time. Most people get carried in duo queues. And yeah. They will actually be the ones that everyone hates in the games. So yeah, this, this was unfortunate for... But not a real play mistake for, uh, for Twisted Fate. And another miss on the ultimate from Rumble. You really need to practice that, man. That is just so bad. I don't think he hit one. Well, he hit one when uh, he was defending his turret. So I guess that's good. Kind of getting another kill. Getting out with another 80% life. Uh, yeah. Once again. And Ash, yeah. Taking two tower shots for no good reason. But they are going to take out his turret now. Because Renekton is not going to defend that. Yeah, he's going to die here. Because, yeah, Akali is just going to come back in. Going to slow him, kill him. It's, it's as simple as that. You can see these things coming. You can see these things coming in-game as well. The whole point is, you have to play enough to actually make this work. So, yeah. Once again, Twisted Fate, this time, making the mistake. Twisted Fate did want to... Uh, to get the ash does get the ash but they traded four for one there because they defended wrong uh, well in the wrong spot I should say should have just let that turret go defended this turret this one is much easier to defend and Akali is just going to go aggressive on this dude going to get the kill while well, Jax actually grabs the kill and she gets damaged quite a lot no someone has to tank the turret for Akali yeah Nicely done. They do get the turret. They are going to grab this inhibitor and probably going to run out afterwards because there's no good reason to stay in. Oh, unless Jax thinks he can just kill this dude. No, no, no. I have to get out. Oh my god, she jumped out of my vision range. Yeah, this was not really good. But yeah, they grabbed one kill for two. And yeah, they should indeed have gone out of there and another missed ultimate wow how do you even do that I mean it's not that hard to hit oh rumble finally picking up a kill that may very well have been his uh, first after that initial kill no it's uh, he actually has three kills so But yeah, he did grab a kill, and yeah, that last part, they should have just backed off after the inhibitor went down. You can see that. In-game, you can see that really easily. I have to bring up the portraits to see that, to see who's dead and who's not, and what the dead timers are. But you can see that people are coming back up. Jax went in to the Redacton, because he thought he could do a lot of damage to him. And yeah, if, th if he could, then it would have been good, but... It's really risky to go up against enemies uh, when they just respawn, so they're full health. And 
uh, yeah, well, in this region, because two turrets are going to hit you, and yeah, Jax thought he could handle that, obviously couldn't, and Akali thought that it was a good idea to just go in there. A little bit of a play mistake there. Definitely not crucial because they're so far ahead. They can risk something. You have to try. I mean, you won't know what your champion is capable of until you try it. Next time they will know that that is not the best of uh, things. So it seems that one of them gets 215 and the others get 190. So the guy with the last hit probably gets a little more on that may also be that, uh, no, 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 you don't have extra gold from minions, masteries. Those do not exist. Oh, Jack's getting caught. That's not good. Yeah, and, um, yeah, he was just overextending, but four champions over here, so Ash should be able to push this top lane. Get this turret, and this is really the difference between like the low level games and the higher level games. Ash understands that because everyone is bottom lane, uh, come on, arrow, yeah, and run, run. Oh, yeah, she that was not her fault. The volley is actually backed after your flash. There are a couple of those skills, she should have had that kill, and that was just. No, 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 it's not a right mistake. It's it's a bug in the program. It's caused by uh, Windows. That's, that's called it Windows. No, it's it's a real, a true bug. Uh, everyone knows that some champions have this, and the problem is it doesn't happen all the time. So once you flash your, uh, and you point, so if I'm over here, I flash over here, and then I point over here to get my uh, volley that way. The system will still think I'm in the old place, so it will aim the volley over there, meaning that while I'm over here, the volley will go that way, not that way. And she would have definitely had that kill and stayed alive at about 100 HP. But, yep, she didn't. But yeah, really aggressive there on, um, on Ash's part to stay in there, uh, but she did get the turret kill and that's all that matters because a turret for one kill that is a definitely a good trait and I will definitely take that every day so uh, uh, in Italy helping a little bit with uh, that Baron and finally a good ultimate from Rumble coming off the escape oh. and Ash picking up a double kill here so they're going to just go really aggressive now and obviously this is going to <laughs> a triple kill this is going to push into the nexus turrets and the nexus turrets will go down from this ash don't tank the turrets dude what are you doing ash wow that was so risky so ash went down to about 100 hp there and might actually die to this oh she has so much life steal that it doesn't even matter so yeah let's pull up the the screen once again here you see the gold values the items so you can figure out you, yourself what uh, what happened so yeah the inhibitor came back up that's why they stopped attacking the nexus because you can't attack the nexus anymore and Nidley goes down once again Ash is in some trouble and actually goes down Rumble picking up a kill all of a sudden learned how to use his uh, his ultimate it seems because now all of a sudden he is doing very well with it and yeah he ends at 7 and 5 8 and 3 Akali 14 7 uh, Jax and 10 and 4 Ash there's nothing you can do about that as an enemy team this is just uh, yeah it spiraled out of control and uh, yeah, very well played. So a very nice game, nice aggressive play all over the map, and yeah, Victory. just awesome play in general. 23 assists on the Janna, that is excellent. She was involved in 23 out of 39 kills, that is a whole lot. 
Ash also in 29, uh, 23 kills here. So the same number, uh, 25 for Jax. And yeah, just awesome teamwork. That You see that from the amount of assists people have compared to the amount of uh, kills there actually are. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Chi chi.